Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family, faith, hope, and love. I'm so glad that you joined me. Let's be fed daily bread. Are you hungry? find you doing well I have been led by the Holy Spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day if this is your very first time tuning in go ahead subscribe to my channel and please share it with your family and friends to my family and friends love you guys thank you so much for your words of encouragement and your support I am going to go right into it today this is actually day 125, day 125, episode 125. The topic of conversation that I'm going to be going into is cheer up, cheer up, yes. So I hope that you are able to join me with my Luke series, okay? That is completed, but... There is a couple of things in the Luke series that I want you to pay attention to. Episode 123, we talked about be dazzled. That we want you to be bedazzled by Christ, okay? Because he is so amazing, unique, very skillful. Everything that he does should bedazzle you, okay? Then, tis the season. We're talking about embracing love. It's a season to embrace love, joy, peace and harmony okay and then yesterday i talked about use it use it meaning the power of god the holy spirit that's within us we have power that we need to use it and today we'll be talking about share up where is the information coming from that is going to be relevant to my message for today Holy Spirit asked me to read the book of Philippians chapter 2. Not going to read the entire chapter, but just certain bits and pieces so that you can see exactly where we're going with this topic of conversation. So I'll start with Philippians 2, chapter 2, um, verse 1, um, up to verse 8. And it says, Is there any such thing as Christians cheering each other up? Do you love me enough to want to help me? Does it mean anything to you that we are brothers in the Lord sharing the same spirit? Are your hearts tender and sympathetic at all? Then make me truly happy by loving each other and agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, working together with one heart one mind and a purpose don't be selfish don't live to make a good impression on others be humble thinking of others as better than yourself don't just think about your own affairs don't just think about um your own affairs but be interested in others too and in what they are doing. Your attitude should be the kind that was shown by Jesus Christ, who, though he was God, did not demand and cling to his rights as God, but laid aside his mighty power and glory, taking the disguise of a slave and becoming like men. And he humbled himself even farther going so far as actually to die a criminal death on the cross. First question, it says, is there any such things as Christians cheering each other up? When was the last time that you cheered someone up? It specifically tells you here in the scripture 
Don't be selfish. Don't think about yourself. Think about others. Have an attitude that you're helping. Jesus humbled himself, became a servant. He had power. We talked about the power that is, that is within us. That He set that power aside and died on the cross so that we can have eternal life. It tells us in the scripture, do you want to make God happy? I'm sure you do. So these are the things that you would need to do. Are you sympathetic to people? Okay. Are you wholeheartedly caring about each other? Working together in one accord. Not no major competition. You trying to outdo a brother or a sister. Trying to make more than them. Trying to shut them down. Are you lifting and encouraging people up? I said this is the season to embrace love. To enjoy embrace peace. To embrace joy. To embrace happiness. All these things that God is asking you in Philippians 2 to pay attention to is the things that would make you and I doing the things that God has called us to do. Walking in love, which is the key, love, okay? Kindness, generosity, having a heart and sympath being sympathetic to other people and not just being selfish and doing everything for your own self-righteousness okay let's go ahead with the scripture i will pick up at philippians 2 verses 14 and it says in everything you do stay away from complaining and arguing let me repeat that in everything you do stay away from complaining and arguing let me repeat that. Everything you do, stay away from complaining and arguing so that no one can speak a word of blame against you. You are to live clean, innocent lives as children of God in a dark world full of people who are crooked and stubborn. Shine out among them like beacon lights, holding up to them the word of life. I come to you each and every day, dropping you golden nuggets along the way. I hope and I'm praying that you're paying close attention to the word of God. I'm not just talking off of the top of my head. I'm not just coming, sitting in front of you because I feel like, okay, I want to dress up today or I just want to feel like if I just need to come and do this because I'm propelled to do it. I'm doing it because I love God, I trust God, and I obey God in everything that he says. God is in a people's business. God wants to win your soul. He wants to win your heart. He wants you to be a whole hundred percent for him not in the world and of the world we could be in the world but belonging to god and doing the things that god has called us to do you have the ability to cheer up you have the ability to create your happiness you have the ability to live in joy and you have the ability to live in peace go ahead Read the book of Philippians, chapters 2, specifically for this episode today, Cheer Up. Take it all in. Soak it up like a sponge. And my question for you, like I do each and every day, is are you hungry? I know that I am. So let's be fed. Daily bread. Daily bread.